Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be recreating some of Rosie Huntington Whiteley's looks from her Vogue video that she did, the seven days, seven looks, or what I wear in a week. And the reason that I wanted to recreate this is because just because someone can't necessarily afford to walk into Hermes and spend $15,000 on one coat does not mean they are not a fashion enthusiast. So I wanted to recreate some of the looks that she wore for you guys in a more affordable range. If you're new here, my name is Tasha and I am a personal stylist and fashion enthusiast. Before we get into any of the looks, I do just want to say that this video is not an attempt to shade Rosie for any of her expensive looks. I just wanted to recreate them for an audience out there that may not necessarily have those pieces in their budget. And it certainly isn't my business what anyone that I don't even know does with their money. So there is no attempt to throw any shade at Rosie. I think she is wonderful. And in fact, she's one of the few celebrity style icons, if you will, that every time I see her, I'm like, oh my gosh, I would totally wear that. Wow, that's a great outfit. And I see other celebrities that look great in their outfits, but I sometimes think, well, you know, it's a cool outfit on them, but I wouldn't necessarily wear that. But every time I see Rosie in a photograph, I'm like, oh, I would totally wear that. So let's recreate these looks. So Rosie's Monday outfit was something that she said she would typically wear to the airport. And it was a beautiful kind of an upscale loungewear looking set from the row along with a trench coat that was also from the row. And I looked these pieces up. The top was over $1,000, the pants were over $2,000, and the jacket was about $2,800. Not to mention that she also had her Hermes bag, which we know those can be pricey. I take no issue with pricey outfits, as I said in the intro of this video, but I do take issue with wearing anything pricey to the airport and she was talking about flying commercial because she hilariously mentioned the pee that accumulates on the floor in the restroom and it was just so elegant the way that she said it it was pretty hilarious and i've had experience with that so i find it super gross but since she was talking about flying commercial i was like that is an outfit that i would never wear to the airport because number one it's expensive Number two, it is silk, so something that is easily damaged and not washable. So it's just something I would never wear to the airport. Um, it was a gorgeous outfit, but I used to fly all the time and I have had stuff pour out of the overhead bin onto me. It was apple juice from a lady's baby bag. I've had passengers that have a cup of coffee, genius idea there, and they're trying to struggle and put their stuff in the overhead bin. I've had people dump that all over me and I'm thinking, you know, if somebody ruined my over $5,000 all silk outfit, I'd be pretty upset. So gorgeous outfit, certainly not for the airport. So let me take the trench off and show you guys the rest of this outfit. So this is a two piece set, pants, shirt, obviously. And Rosie was wearing all of her shoes from her shoe line in her video. I do also have an unboxing and try on review of that shoe line on my channel. I will link it and everything that I'm wearing in this video down in the description box below. Okay, so this was Rosie's Wednesday look from the Vogue video, and she already said that she knew people were going to give her crap in the comments because it was an all-white outfit that she had planned to wear just to hang out with her toddler. And I don't have any kids that I know of, so I think that I can pull off an all-white outfit, but much like a toddler, I always end up spilling stuff all over myself, and it's usually mustard, which I eat once in a blue moon, so I'm like, how did I get mustard that I never eat on my all-white outfit? But here is the look, so same Zara bodysuit. I have this bodysuit in every single color, and I have to tell you that I love it. It's one of the best things that I have ever purchased. And I cheated a little bit. I already own this Bottega Veneta belt. Mine is in brown. Hers was white in the video, but I thought, you know, we'll just go with what we have. So, but I did find this belt in an affordable price range and everything again is linked down in, a, in the description box below. Let me move the camera angle and I'll show you the rest of this outfit. Okay, so I have to apologize that I failed on Tuesday's look. That was the two-piece leather set by Nanushka, 
and I couldn't find anything that was already sold as a set and everything that I did find that would have been kind of similar were two separate pieces and so I couldn't find anything that was the same color. So once the jacket for this showed up, it was a totally different color. So this look was a fail. I did find a similar looking skirt. It's not quite as long as the Nanushka one, but that overall look, albeit not something that I would describe as a budget friendly look, wasn't hideously expensive. I think the entire outfit was probably around $1,200 for both pieces. So again, not cheap, but not completely outrageous like some of the Hermes looks that we see in the video. This was Rosie's Thursday outfit, and hers was a beautiful cutout back Hermes bodysuit. Um, this one is again from Zara. See, I wasn't lying when I said I have it in all the colors. It's the best like under $25 piece that I have in my entire closet, I would dare to say. But the one that she was wearing was absolutely gorgeous, but unfortunately it is no longer available. And number two, it cost over $2,100. So, but it was beautiful with that cutout back. And the rest of this look is just some white pants and a kind of beige or nude colored trench. Wednesday's look was something that Rosie said was a day-to-night look for her, something that she would typically wear to the office and then out later. She clearly works for herself and in a creative field, so if she wants to wear a leather crop top to the office, she can totally get away with it. I wouldn't recommend it for most people. And this was the most expensive look out of all the outfits that she wore. And some of it was off the runway Hermes. It's not even available on the website. I don't have an exact price for the coat because it's just not available anywhere yet. But from the other coats that I saw on their website, I would gauge this one to be between probably ten and fifteen thousand dollars. This is the rest of the look. So just a simple pencil skirt that goes with this top and kind of a long line leather, well faux leather blazer that mimics the Hermes one that she wore. So this Friday date night going out look is probably the one that I had the most fun with recreating. So I bought the first part of this top and then I actually made the rest. So the original top is by Givenchy and when it came out, even before I saw Rosie in it, I was like, oh, I need that top. But it retails for over $1,500. And for as infrequently as I would wear something like a statement top, I just could not justify the $1,500 price tag. So what I ended up doing was buying this first little halter top. It was super affordable. I think it was like $12. Everything again is linked down below. And then I bought some fabric off of Amazon. It was like $6. So I got this white matching fabric. I do have a sewing machine and I can sew at a pretty mediocre level, but I was able to recreate this top and I'm gonna move the camera down and show you the rest because I'm actually really proud of it. So this is the rest of Rosie's Friday date night look. And the back as well. So here's the recreation of Rosie's Sunday staying at home loungewear set look. This outfit was easier than some of the others to recreate. And again, everything is linked down below. And here is the full length look. This is something that I would just totally wear when lounging around my house as well, um, probably in the cooler months. So speaking of which, it is July in LA and it's that time of day where the sun just is pouring through these windows and I've turned off the air conditioning so that I could film this video for you guys so that it wouldn't make noise but I am getting super hot and sweaty so it's time for me to go. If you have any questions or comments please feel free to have a chat with me down below or over on Instagram and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.